Welcome to Syria. Episode 4, Wrath of Gary. Previously on Tales from Tetheria, the gang actually caught the bounty they were after, but then they were accosted by a group of Golden Fist warriors who were seeking the same bounty, and they were being led by Gary. And then one of the Golden Fist freaking shot Krulax. They shot him. All right, you're all caught up. Ah, oh, guys, they shot me with a goddamn arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, I thought uh, we were I, cool, I Gary. Take very big note of that. Gary, I thought we were dudes. <laughs> <laughs> My name's not Gary. You never learned my real name, you <laughs> asshole! I'm not hey, gonna learn listen. it now, you just, your guy shot me! <laughs> yeah, Gary, right. that was really fucked up. I, 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 are you guys really gonna do this right now? I'm, I'm on your side, I'm looking for the necromancer guy. Uh, can I do a perception check on who seems like the scariest, most badass one of them? Sure. Like, who might do the most damage? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a plus one. I got four. Okay. Four total? Four total. Okay. They all look pretty... I mean, they're all scary. One of them just shot you. The other one has a mace. Gary is Gary. Looks like he's got a sword. Alright, I want to, uh, with my turn... He's also got a hand crossbow, by the way. Uh, Gary? Gary has a hand crossbow. Oh my god. Gary's a dick. What okay. happened to Gary? I this go... is breaking my heart. Yeah, guys, we might have to capture Gary and take him with us. I, I want to okay, use more. <laughs> I want to use my command ability, and I want to do it on the guy with the mace. And uh, okay. trigger warning for everyone, not a joke. I want to command the guy with the mace to use uh, the word. I want to command him suicide. I want this man to kill himself right, right. here with the so mace. So I don't think that you can do that. Yeah. Oh, I can't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, betray. I want to command betray. him to betray. All right. I have to make a save. What's your DC? DC. Uh, your spell, spell save, save DC? Difficulty. Uh, yes. 11. I rolled a 14, so I succeed. Oh, damn. Oh, damn, oh that's bad. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> would you Whoops. like to do anything else? Oh, can I? Um, I would like to uh, move myself back 10 feet and uh, to an angle where uh, I'm behind Krulax. Great. <laughs> you can do that. So your little two foot tall, legs move like you're three feet tall. It's weird, right? And you are able to hide behind uh, The guy who just got shot. With two what the hell? <laughs> you using me as a human shield? I got uh, an arrow in me! Falmer, ah! Falmer, you are, you've got, you've got your people tied up on horses however you see fit. Uh, yeah, uh, so as a free action, I, I'm like, Oh no, oh no, oh no. And I and I take down uh, the the whatever we were using to to bound uh, not bound, uh, whatever was in uh, Bantu's mouth. Yeah. I, I kinda take it down, it's like, why are these people trying to kill you? Wait, what why do these people want you? I mean they told you why they wanted me, right? No, you were no help and I put it back in his mouth. Alright, so after I regag him, I uh, jump on the pony and I wanna break through in between Kaizen and the cart, trying to make like a clean escape. Gotcha. You okay. So what a slimy name. Dick. He's getting away with our bounty! So it's gonna be uh, half speed because it's difficult terrain for a horse. They still okay, move very fast, so they go five, ten, eight, twenty, nine. So you'll end up about there-ish on your horse as your horse clears the clearing. And All right, so I'm no longer uh, hidden by the forest. Got you it. You can stay hidden by the forest or not. Up to you. I'm making a break for it. They could probably uh, do it. Uh, let's see. I, c I could attack Gary or I could just go for <laughs> Falamare at this point. I think I can use Step of the Wind to uh, jump a distance and, sure, and, yeah. and get some air. And I want to see if I can just uh, punch the living lights out of him from up above. Out of who? Out of Falamare. Out of Falamare. What? Yeah, you're not getting away with that money. Get away money. with our bounty. <laughs> see here. Yep, yeah, you can. Your jump distance is doubled for the turn. So yeah, you can jump onto Falamare's, uh, like jump up at angle and try to elbow or kick him in the face or okay, whatever. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to jump and try to see if I can, um, uh, like, uh. 
use a double elbows onto the top of his noggin to knock him out and then take control of the horse by doing so. Double elbow okay. strike. Yeah, you know, a little um, ongbok here and there. Um, go ahead and just make an attack roll, actually. Okay. And Falomer, make a uh, uh, strength saving throw or a dexterity saving throw your choice. Uh, definitely going to go dexterity. Okay, so 13 plus 6. So 19. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> nice. Well, guess what? I'm using my dexterity save, which is plus 5. Uh, 18 total. Mm. So, Falomer... You are making a break for it. Kaizen comes in with the double elbows right to the side of your shoulder and shoves you off of the horse. Nice! Onto what the are you doing? You idiot! Kaizen, you are now like how you remember you know that scene in Venture Brothers when Brock Sampson is just sitting in the driver's seat and just crushes that one lady when she's driving? This is a reference that like three of you will get. <laughs> <laughs> You're now sitting where Falomer was sitting a half second ago. Falomer, what? you're going to take it. What did she roll? She, we both rolled 18s. No, she rolled and she nine, just yeah, 19, buddy. Oh. Uh, Falomer, you're going to take three points of fall damage <gasps> as you fall off okay. the horse. And you are prone. That was Kaizen's turn. <laughs> uh, Krulax, you're up. Yeah, I want to whip one of the fire bombs at the uh, the dude who shot the arrow at me. Uh, at at the scout, Mary. Yeah, Mary. Okay. Go ahead and roll a ranged attack. Oh God, <laughs> a five. Okay, uh, a five means that the fire bomb is going to land in the square in front of you. Cool. So we'll say it's here. <laughs> a little fire bomb right here. All right. Uh. That's good, it's good, it's a little diversion, it's all right. Yeah, maybe one of them will step on it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, I have two-handed fighting, so can I use my other hand to whip a hand axe at him? Sure. Yeah, so I'll, I'll use my other action. Uh, I whip a hand axe at him. Cool. Okay, that's a 15. Nice. Plus five, hit DC, yep. plus five. So, so plus 20, five. a yes. 20 is gonna hit. Woo! And which one are you throwing it at? Uh, still Mary. That's, uh, 1d6 of damage plus three. Three. Plus, so plus three, plus three. three. Yeah. Six Great. damage. So six wow. damage of Mary. Nice. nice. A hand Take that. Buried uh, right in her shoulder. Shoulder for a shoulder, they say. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> How does um, it feel, huh? Ah. So one of your, as you try to shake the, uh, the the stickiness off your hand, you tried to throw it and it like went, like one of those sticky hands <laughs> yeah. that has like the long, yeah. Um, okay, that was cool. In your country, turn. it's an eye for an eye, but in mine, it's an axe for an axe. <laughs> or I guess in this case, an arrow for an axe. You get the right. idea. You took an axe. Gary is going to levy the hand crossbow right at Krulax. Pew! 17 on the dice. That's a 21 to hit you. Yeah, armor class 16. Okay. Uh, seven piercing damage. Ooh. Oh, God damn it. Oh, jeez. They're shooting me so much, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Please uh, do something. <laughs> if only your idiot friend did not attack me, maybe we'd have more damage on them by Why now. Are you trying oh, to yeah, get like our, that's what you were going to do. Right away with our bounty. I don't answer that yet. And <laughs> Gary now is going to scoot back into the um, the confines of the cart really? and use a bonus action to hide. Okay. Uh, he's a little bitch. Yeah, he didn't used to be a little bitch. Yeah, we, we raised doesn't... him right. What happened? Yeah. Gary's changed, man. Okay. Doesn't roll super good on hiding, but he is hidden. We'll see if you can see him later. It's now the thug's turn. Thug is going to get off the horse using half his movement, and he's going to try to come up to Krulax. Oh, God. He steps in the sticky bomb. Oh, nice! Because <laughs> he's dumb. So he's now stuck in that space and has sticky bomb on his foot, but he is still going to get to attack you. And he has multi-attack. Oh, God. Ooh, 219. Oh, God! Yeah, so uh, I guess those are both 23. Huh? 23 and 23 to hit. 13 total bludgeoning damage. Cool, that are you alive? <laughs> uh, uh, 
You hit zero hit points. Do I get to roll a saving throw or something? Not uh, on your turn, you will. So the okay. way that being dead works <laughs> is you aren't dead. You're only mostly dead. You're not all dead. You're at zero, which means you fall prone. Mm -hmm. Oh. And you will begin making death saves if you are not healed before your next turn. <laughs> it's now Batu and Quacha's turn. Quacha spent the turn untying the knots on their bounds. Ooh, and does so. So Quacha <laughs> comes hopping out. <laughs> oh no! Time to prove myself! <gasps> Quacha! And Quacha is gonna hop over to Krulax. Watch out, Quacha! The elf will probably jump and attack you too! Quacha's gonna come over to Krulax and is gonna deliver a first level cure wounds. Sweet! How much do I get to heal? 1D, you're gonna heal 1d8 plus two. So seven. Heal seven. Sweet. Uh, and because Quacha touched you, I need you to make a DC 12 constitution saving throw. I have resistance to poison. Oh, Hell okay, yeah. great. <laughs> 14 or 16. Perfect, both of those are good. Uh, DC 12, so you are not poisoned. Sweet. And Quacha says, are you okay? Yeah, thank you. Wow, uh, you have earned my trust. Let's okay, see. great. Balamir right. just betrayed us, and uh, the gnome hid behind me. Quacha, you're, you're my new favorite right now. Gary is apparently a dick now. <laughs> well, we'll see you're my new favorite, goes. Quacha. Thank you so much for healing me. <laughs> yep, no worries. Uh, and then Quacha's going to jump into this little river. Okay, cool. Because <laughs> it's wet. You do you, Quacha. Batu, meanwhile, is going to... We're going to rewind to the moment where um, uh, Thalamere had the bounds down on his mouth. Yes, let's remind the party of the thing that I did. <laughs> and, Thank you. And at that moment, Batu is like, you know, you guys are talking and you're asking him a question. He's like, I mean, of course you know why. Oh, by the way, untie me. And so he's going to try to command you. Untie. Oh, wait. To me? To you. <clears throat> Make a... Uh... And this was while you were in the cave. So I need a wisdom saving throw. When I was in the cave? When you were in oh, the cave in, and in took the... the bind down. Gotcha. That's why I was delaying it to this moment. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. So that it would um, be a dramatic... The wisdom reveal. is uh, no bonus to it, so it's zero. Yep. Uh, I'm not a wise individual. Rolling a 13. Okay, 13 saves. Hey! Woo! <clears throat> so he's still bound on the back of the Thank horse. Hmm. Top of the round, it is Mary's turn. Mary just got uh, uh, an, a hand axe thrown at her, but the person that threw it is now down on the ground. So she's like, whatever. Um, the person that was behind Krulax still looks like a golden fist person. <laughs> the monk now is on the horse. That's probably the most dangerous Person, so she will turn her longbow and 11 to hit you. 17 armor class. Yeah, first one's not going to work. Second, also an 11 yes. to hit you. Two arrows go past you like it's a scene in the Matrix and you're able to dodge out of the way, even nice on dodging. horseback. Whoa. <laughs> uh, Debra. Um... So I have a question about the fire bombs that we made. Uh, are they uh, they just light on fire and it's like a jelly that that keeps on fire whatever it's on? It's not like a grenade. It's not like an explosive. It's more of like right. A, it's more like napalm. Like a gelatin, like a napalm, yeah. but minus the explosion. Cool. So I would like to hop onto Krulax's shoulders uh, <clears throat> okay. so that I can shoot this. Uh, I know the fire bomb I'm is down. on the guys. You're hopping on my shoulders. I'm prone. Yep. So you're uh, yeah. standing on Krulax. Yes. You just stand yes, on I my am. chest, I guess. Yeah. No, you know, you're face just... down in the mud. Let's let's yeah. count him. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Um, I'm surfing, man. So, yeah. <laughs> sorry, but I said it already. I thought you were standing. Okay. Uh, I, I need better friends. So you are standing astride Krulax. Mm -hmm. And I want to uh, uh, use my burning hands forward, lighting the firebomb uh, along the way, and also burning these horses. Sorry, horses. I just need Fantastic. to get myself down. 
quite all right. So I need to make saves for the Scout, the Thug, and both War Horses. Um, and is Mary within the your... No. Mary is on one of the horses. Okay, okay. So yes. She's the Scout. Um, looks like both horses <laughs> save, and Mary and, Gar and Terry do not oh! save. <laughs> Hearty <laughs> horses. Go ahead and roll your burning hands damage. So you put your thumbs together and flames erupt out of your fingertips. <clears throat> and you deal 3d6 fire damage on a failed save or half as much on a successful one. The fire ignites any flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried, such as fire gelatin. Boom. That's what we do. So 3d6. And the horses take half that damage, yeah? Correct. Okay, so I rolled a 2. <clears throat> I rolled a three, and that one is at an angle. Let me do it. Sorry, and another three. <clears throat> Mary takes eight, and Terry takes eight. Mary is not looking good, y'all. <laughs> uh, and the horses take four each. Um, the horses whinny and uh, oops, probably buck, but everybody stays on, uh, or Mary stays on, I should say. Um, and they take some damage because these are, these are war horses. These are large animals. Um, what about but, the firebomb? You know, it's still some still some burning hands. The firebomb will deal some extra damage. Let's say that it's an extra three d six. Damn! Oh wow! So okay. Go ahead and roll your. I'm a roll. Go ahead and roll your three d six again. I landed a three. Landed a one. Landed a two. Uh, six more. Six. Yeah. Cool. So so he takes a, f a whole nother firebomb's worth of damage, and he's still on fire, so he will have to take <laughs> an action to, to like, put out his oh fire. Boy. If he wants to. If he attacks you, he'll just take more fire damage. Probably an extra oh d6 at the top he's, of the He might be insane. Um, I mean, he's not very smart. We've proven that already. <laughs> um, would you like... So you stepped on top of... Uh, Krulax, mm -hmm. would you like to... You have some more movement, if you wish. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. That was only five feet of your move. Or don't! If or I don't. can, I would like to uh, get off of Krulax, and I'd like to yep. move uh, to the side of Krulax five feet, so I'm out of striking range of, um, of Terry. So, you got up to within uh, striking range, cast okay. Burning Hands, and now want to leave his range... Uh, yeah, but to, like, the left, if I can. On the same plane, but just go, like, left. There? Yeah. Okay. So if you're going to leave his immediate uh, circumference, he's going to take an attack of opportunity on you. Okay. Does he take fire damage for that? No, he'll take fire damage on his turn. Okay, cool. Yeah, he can go for it. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got, Terry. Twelve. Well, Even while on fire, he has the ability to... To swing, swing. His, his thing? My yeah, he's armor. a... Oh, uh, my armor class is eleven. <laughs> okay, so he's gonna he's gonna hit you with that with his with his mace. Mm-hmm. One D six plus two. Ooh, eight! Oh, ow. Eight All right, piercing. I'm down to nine health. As you get out of the way, uh, you still have more move if you want to keep moving. Uh yeah, let's do it. Let's get out of the way. Let's keep moving towards the towards the, the left, towards the forest, but just like the general brush on the side. Um, that was Deborah's turn. It's now Falomir's turn. Falomir, you I am you oofed onto the ground. You're prone. I am surrounded by idiots. <laughs> and as while I stay prone, almost like a you know a sniper shot just off my side, uh, I actually pull from my quiver one of my fire arrows, magically uh, tipped fire arrows, and I aim and shoot at the curtains uh, and oh. the caravan itself. Nice. Fuck Go Gary. Oh, no, Gary's roll. in there! <laughs> Go ahead and make I do not know who Gary is! Go ahead and make an attack roll. Uh, 14 plus, I believe. That's gonna hit the carriage. Uh, I have seven, yeah, uh, plus seven for my, so yeah, that's yep. 21. Carriage is on fire. Try to follow me now, you stupid golden fisters. <laughs> Love it. You want to stay where you are? So I stand up. Half your movement. Uh, to stand. And I 
I look at uh, Kaizen. What are you doing, you stupid elf? How dare you attack me while I am trying to get us to some kind of safety with our part with our bounty? Safety, really? You're running towards the uh, the. The enemy? Yeah, I'm sure you were trying to get running past, to safety. Running past in the direction! You are here to be fighting! What else is a bounty hunter supposed to be yeah. doing? Just here dancing on the Whoa, side? We don't trust you enough to just take off with our bounty while you do while we do all the fighting. You How dare understand. you think I was also, running away you from you? Just set the, the carriage with Gary in it on fire. We're not trying. I do not know who Gary is. is. All I hear is this man that says that is not my name. What are you doing even here? I am so duck you pay, you little elf. Man, I'm I'm not into this Falomir, dude. Man. <laughs> that argument is happening. Love it. Yeah, we may have to kill Falomir. <laughs> um, it's now Kaizen's turn. As I as I leap off my horse, can I just tell Deborah to get on the horse next? Sure. All right, I'd like to leap off of my horse. I go, Debbie, get on the horse before this Falomir idiot gets on here and takes away our prize money. Okay? Roger that. <laughs> I just shake my head like I this this elf I am not letting them. Um, do. so I'd like to jump off the horse, um, and uh, I think my unarmed strike is still gonna hit harder than anything with an actual weapon. So I'm gonna go for um, uh, for Mary. She's she looks closer okay. to me. Yep. Well, she is closer, but she is still on her horse. She's still on the horse. So it would be. Oh, up. she's hurt. She's she is very she's hurt. Um, I think I can get some air, um, and yep. and I'm gonna try to do another air strike. Let's go for a little Superman punch to the jaw this time. Perfect. Roman Reigns Roman coming Reigns. in. Roman Reigns. You want to uh, get a Superman punch in? Go ahead and roll an attack roll. Just a regular attack roll is fine. Okay, fourteen. What? Fourteen's gonna hit. Scout, hey. Scout's not hard to hit. Yes. Tell me your damage. Uh, is that a, what's my damage? Uh, I don't know, I think it's a D4 plus four or something Yeah, D4 like that. plus four bludgeoning. Uh, unfortunately that's a one, plus four, five. Five's enough. And you punch her in a burn wound. Nice. And she is, and she like, her eyes roll into the back of her head and she is dead on the back of this horse. Yeah! <laughs> yes! Nice one, Kaizen! Kaizen! Oh yeah, I set their whole wagon That's on fire. That's what we're talking about. We, uh, you shut up, traitor. We just go ahead and applaud up, the giant <laughs> F here. <laughs> Krulax, you're alive thanks to some delicious, delicious grung juice. Ew. <laughs> to you. Um, you are still prone on the ground. I'd like to get up. Half your movement. What? Okay. Bonus action, uh, second wind. Sure. One D ten plus two. I like that. Oh my god. Okay. One D ten. Oh god, that's a <laughs> two. That's a classic laser coin roll. Plus two, so I heal for four more. Okay. Up to eleven, and I'm gonna. Let's see. We've got one axe. Le one throwing axe left, because this one was right. in Mary. <laughs> um, Just throw it. Yeah. I love it. It's gone. Uh, so I'd like to whip this one at Terry, I guess. Okay, what, well, is he right, is he right, right, is he right next you. to me? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah I'll you're just, in melee. I'll just swing at him. Yeah. Okay, so I'll swing at him with the throwing axe. Swing batter. Hey, batter, 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 batter. Swing. Oh, God. Uh, that's a six. Six is not going to do it on Terry. Action surge. I'd like to swing again. Uh, this time it's going to be a ten. Plus five, Total? 15, 15. 15, yes! okay. Yeah! So I swing, I chunk him in the, uh, let's go for his his thigh. I'm a dwarf. Ooh. <laughs> All right, and then it's go gonna ahead and roll be, your damage. It's gonna be one D6 plus three. Oops. Okay, that one, hang on. I gotta get, it fell under my desk. <laughs> if only he was rolling into this nifty dice box that came with our dice. Yes. Four plus three really mm -hmm. is seven. Seven. Seven damage in on Terry. Nice. As he said in question, four plus three is <laughs> seven. seven damage. <laughs> Gary. Gary. I think Gary only has line of sight on Krulax right now. Oh, great. Good. 
So, uh, even even with the uh, the carriage on fire, he's hiding well, in the flames carriage, right? don't uh, get rid he's of He's hiding in the carriage, so he's somewhere in the back of the carriage. Yeah, he's gonna do that. That's not gonna do it. Twelve. Armor class sixteen. Is, is the sm- okay. Okay. I I won't argue more since it was a miss anyways. Yeah. So the arrow zooms past your ear, um, and you look to where it came from, and it's from the darkness of the carriage. Gary! Gary is then going to do something else. And we'll, uh... Yep, you don't know where he is anymore. Gary, we're gonna have a long talk about this. It's now gonna be Terry's turn. Terry is gonna swing at what's in front of him again. Which is Krulax, yeah. Which is Krulax. Two hits. Uh, so that's a ten and a nine. Total? Yeah. Neither one of six those, and a five. Neither one of those hit. Armor class Stupid. 16. And, oh, and he didn't put himself out. So he'll take, oh, Jesus. He'll take six more fire damage. <laughs> Jeez. Um, He's still alive? He is a roast. He is, he is a strong boy. Um, Armin. It's, it's now Batu and Quacha's turn. Quacha is just going to stay in the, in the, in the stream and watch from behind a rock. Quacha's bathing. Everybody okay? <laughs> Yeah. And Batu is going to no, struggle but, with the but ropes we'll, again. we'll manage. <laughs> Batu does not get anywhere on struggling against the ropes. Uh, Scout's dead. Mary, RIP. Whee! Debra. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to solve this. Uh, I'm going to Eldritch Blast Terry just right in the back of the head, or the side of the head from where I am, kind of behind his cool. ear. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna I'm blow up his brain oh, with magic. <laughs> Three plus five, so eight damage. Well, and you hit? Oh, I forgot to roll the d20. The five was me rolling the, the yeah, ten, D20? so we'll just keep that. The d20. Gotcha. Twenty. Got a twenty. Yeah, Ooh, natural okay. 20. Natural 20. Hey. I think that's our first natural 20 attack of the Dang. campaign. Yeah, flat 20. Which I did means, that mistake. Which Dummy. means you, all, you also get to roll your damage dice twice. Woo! Okay. Okay. 1d10 plus 3, it's 2d10 plus Hell 3. Hell yeah. So the first Dummy. one I rolled a 5. That's my boy. And the second one I rolled a 7. So that's 15 Eldritch Blast damage to Terry. Um, so you show Terry the secrets of the universe with your Eldritch <laughs> invocations, and it blows his mind out the other side of his head. <laughs> Sorry, Krulax. Uh, do I do I see that? Yeah. Did I see that happen? You see that happen. Uh, did any of the, the brain residue get on uh, Krulax? No, Krulax is, is sort of perpendicular to the blast okay. of, of the brain uh, residue. In that case, I see that happen, and I'm like... Oh, oh my god, you took out this... <laughs> and I pass out. Great. What does anyone want to do now? You have no villains that you can see. One oh, in a burning oh, carriage. Oh, that we can see, Gary. We presume. I, uh... I, I would like to call to Gary. Gary, your dudes are dead. Come out, let's talk about this. Come on, we're bros. You remember. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what they did to brainwash you, but come on, let's talk about this like men. Any, any <laughs> there is no answer. Uh, I would like to go. I would like to go into the the wagon then cautiously. The burning is wagon. On fire? Wagon is on fire. Oh shit! I forgot it was on fire. All right, guys, um, we gotta put out this wagon. Uh oh, let's push it into the river. Ooh. ooh, ooh <laughs> I also I can I can do a thing if you want. Oh shit! Watch it. Yes, you have some kind of water magic. Are you water? Yeah, better? I can I can I can do a water thing. Do yeah, the do water a water thing. thing. Do the water thing. Put out this wagon. Uh, okay, uh, you and um, Quacha creates water above the carriage, ten gallons of it, Woo-hoo. and uh, it also can fall as rain over a thirty-foot cube. Dude, that's so we'll awesome. do that. So, so Quacha will make it rainfall. Make, make it, it rain. rain. <laughs> make it rain on them, on them horses right here, and puts out all the flames in the area, as it says in Create Water spell. Ah, refreshing rain. Great job. And you look in, you look in the carriage, and uh, no one's in there. Gary has disappeared. Gary has disappeared. Yeah, that's Go a Gary move. Go ahead and make an move. investigation check. Huh? <laughs> investigation. Make an investigation check. 
Eight plus, what is my investigation? Plus zero, so eight. Okay. Um, I mean, most everything's on fire in here. You do see that the back door of the carriage is open. Mm. Mm. I, Batman does. Can I? Yeah, I, he's done. That, he's done that before. He disappeared after the whole horn thing. I too would like that's to do uh, investigation if that's possible. Sure. Uh, never mind. Not much of a help. Five. <laughs> You also see that the back door is open. <laughs> Great. Uh, am I, say, I able to I say, I say, or relax. Uh, I see that the no, back door I'll is open. You, I'll let you go over Excellent there. Excellent investigation. Uh, I want to say to Kaizen, uh, my investigation concluded the exact same mm-hmm. thing. Mm-hmm. So I think we're in agreement here. We're in agreement. Excellent it is open. Work. The back door is open. <laughs> yeah, it's totally Top open. Top tier. Uh, yeah, I think we're good. We don't uh, need to keep Debra, investigating. Debra, you can come around from the outside. All right, and investigate we keep the investigating. <laughs> investigation is a D20. <laughs> Strong, Correct. but and then you're gonna add your intelligence. <laughs> okay, that's a nine plus intelligence. My intelligence is two. Eleven. You also see that the back door is open. Fantastic. Oh, shit. I would like to guys uh, before open. I forget. I grab, I grab my axe out of the corpse of Mary. Yep. Uh, as I come to, <clears throat> I just uh, I, I throw up a lot. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, everyone is okay. Everyone is alive, mm-hmm. um, including Gary, who has disappeared. Perhaps we'll see another day. Mm-hmm. And I think that that's where we'll call this episode. <gasps> okay. Yeah, that's a wow. good. That's a good ending spot. Where's Gary? Gary got Why away. is he not cool anymore? It's changed, man. He's changed. Well, yes. To be fair, he did bite us the last time we ran into him, too. That is true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't think Gary's... Well, Gary had, like, the one saving moment for you right. at the well, end of that ki- campaign, which kind of made you killed, even. He killed a cultist yeah. and then disappeared, but he never said we're friends or anything. Well, to be, to be yeah. fair, I guess he could have tried to attack us, and he didn't attack us this time. He just well, there were a lot of us and only one of him, but yeah. I'm so glad we left any of them alive to investigate. Yeah, I had fun killing yeah, You shut guys. up, traitor. We're not done with yeah. you. Yeah. Maybe, maybe oh, Bonchel or Bonchel oh. can bring him back from the dead. Yeah, it's true. Mm. You do have a necromancer if you want to bring, if you want to weekend at Bernie's it. <laughs> um, but they, they would just be a zombie. They wouldn't be able to answer any true. questions. Okay, uh, that has been that episode. Be sure to check all these guys out. There'll be links to the dis- in the description. You've got Mari, Jovid, Noah, and Ruben, of course, and uh, links to all their stuff. And we'll be back next week with another episode. Let's see how this all plays out. Falamir is going to get a talking to. Oh, and a big thanks to our sponsor. Big thanks to our sponsor, Little Dragon Corp, for the awesome dice. Check out the link in the description of that if you want to get your own sick metal dice. See ya. To be continued next time on Tales from Tiberia. Thank you for watching, Brave Adventurers. Uh, If you want to watch last week's episode, that'll be over here somewhere. And uh, next week's episode will be over here when it's available. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. All right. Uh, Thanks for watching. See you next time.